This video series takes a look at the Japanese and English versions of the Pokemon anime and compares some of the ways that 4Kids changed the show when they brought it to the West. To kick things off from last time with episode 4, which is titled Challenge of the Samurai Boy over in Japan and Challenge of the Samurai in the West. The first thing to bring up from this episode is a Japanese pun that would be pretty hard to localise into English. You see, early on in the episode, Misty starts to freak out over seeing bugs. She clings to a tree and in the Japanese version says the word mushi again and again. Mushi is the Japanese word for bug, but it also sounds very much like the word ushi, which means cow. Due to this, Ash then appears in a cow costume and says a cow, poking fun at Misty's situation. This would have been hard to localise into English due to bug and cow sounding nothing alike. So in the English version, Ash instead says, maybe it's a cow to pee, which comes across as rather random unlike the Japanese version. There aren't many other changes in this episode, but Forkids did remove some Japanese letters from Jesse's cocoon made from cardboard boxes. In the dub, the characters were painted away. Interestingly though, Forkids actually missed some text in this episode that they would usually change. It's a little hard to see, but on Ash's sleeping bag in both versions is the name Satoshi written in English. Satoshi is Ash's Japanese name, but this was left in the English version unaltered. But moving on to episode 5, which is titled Showdown in Pewter City over in the west and the fight at Nibi Gym in Japan. Nibi Gym, by the way, being the name of Pewter City's gym in Japan, with Nibi City being changed to Pewter City when the show was brought to the west. Nibi is Japanese for a shade of the colour grey, and is named this due to the city being famous for its stones, and stones being the colour grey. The English name Pewter is instead a type of metal, but the metal is also grey in colour. In this episode are a couple of instances of four kids drastically raising the price of things. The first of these being the price that Brock's father tries to get Ash and Misty to pay for sitting on one of his rocks. Over in Japan this was 50 yen, equivalent to 44 cents. In the four kids dub though, this was for some reason changed to $2. A more drastic change was made to Ash and Misty's food bill. In Japan this was 1,150 yen, which is approximately $10. Four kids simply changed the yen sign to a dollar sign and didn't put a decimal place or anything. Meaning in the western version the food cost $1,150. If you compare the two screenshots too, you'll see that four kids also removed and changed various Japanese text. Next we have a big translation difference that four kids made to Brock's dad, discussing what happened to Brock's mother. In the Japanese version he says she left the house and never returned. This means that Brock was left with no parents due to his father also walking out on them in hopes of becoming a Pokemon trainer. For some reason four kids turned this into her trying her best to hold things together but sadly passing away. Little did four kids know though that Brock's mother Lola would then go on to appear in later episodes alive and well. No attempt was made by the producers to try and rectify or explain this mistake. Lastly we have another translation difference from towards the end of the episode when Brock reunites with his father and hands over the responsibility of looking after his nine siblings. In the Japanese version Brock goes on a long lecture about his nine brothers and sisters eating habits and mentions lots of Japanese food such as ramen. Four kids changed this to things like cornflakes and spaghetti. They also added in a lot of non-food related dialogue such as Cindy sleepwalking and the twins not wanting to take baths. The next episode is episode 6, Clefairy and the Moonstone over in the west and PP and the Moonstone in Japan, with PP being Clefairy's Japanese name. The character of the day in this episode is Seymour the Scientist and some big changes were made to his personality outside of Japan. In the English version, Seymour is only concerned with knowledge and research and will often burst out in poetry about his love for science. Over in Japan though, he doesn't recite poetry at all and he is instead fascinated with love and will often talk about things being romantic instead. Next we have a few changes that were made to the scene where Ash is trying to figure out what Pikachu is saying. The Clefairy are jumping around the Moonstone and the gang are trying to figure out what exactly they are doing. Pikachu tries to describe what the Clefairy are doing and in the English version Ash interprets this as them doing the Macarena. The Macarena, as many of you will probably already know, was a hugely popular song and dance from the 90s. The Japanese version though didn't reference the Macarena but instead the Bond dance. This is a style of dancing performed during the Bond festival which is an annual Buddhist event for commemorating one's ancestors. The next hint was also changed in the English version. 
Here, Pikachu pulls out one of Ash's hairs, which leads Ash and the gang to say Kami, the Japanese word for hair. Kami is not just Japanese for hair though, but also God. They finally conclude that the Clefairy are protecting their God, with God being the Moonstone, and this turns out to be the right answer. For kids would usually remove religious references outside of Japan due to feeling that this could be offensive to Western audiences. This means that the Moonstone was changed to it just being something that they pray to, with the hint being changed to hair rhyming with the word prayer. There is no direct mentioning of the Moonstone being their God, unlike the Japanese version. But lastly we have a change that was made to the sign to Cerulean City at the end of the episode. On the sign is a note that Gary wrote for Ash in the bottom right corner, and in the Japanese version a transparent image of Gary sticking his tongue out will pop up. Four Kids translated Gary's message accurately, with it reading Gary was here, Ash is a loser, but for some reason they removed Gary's image popping up. That's all for this time though, but there are still many other episodes to go. If you're interested in seeing more, then please leave a comment below, hit that subscribe button, and set notifications to on, and until next time, thank you for watching.